What's your well. definition of simple? Give us the, what's the dish? Four or five elements maximum. Today, you're not going to lift <laughs> the lids to your mystery boxes. Oh. You're going to smash your what? way through them. Oh. Oh. What? You ready? Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. yes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> smash your boxes. That went too hard. Oh. How wonderful is that? Whoa. They are completely made of chocolate. It's awesome. What the heck? A completely edible mystery box. <laughs> made of chocolate. That is insane. Why chocolate? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? No way. It's awesome. <laughs> so cool. The mystery box is made out of chocolate. I cannot believe it. It looks incredible. None of us knew that it was any different from our normal mystery box. I, I'm in shock. Wow, right? Yeah. So talk us through it. What do we got here, Kirsty? So we have some mint, instant coffee, and some coffee beans, green tea, beautiful ripe nectarines, Coconut, desiccated, and we've got fresh whole coconut. Some fresh raspberries here, and we've got some dark rum. Guys, I don't know if you've noticed it yet, but there's only seven ingredients. The box is the eighth ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you're pumped? Yeah, yeah. Really Stop pumped. eating it, man. There'll be no left. <laughs> They're all just eating it. It's fantastic. <laughs> I think you have to, number one, you have to stop eating the eighth ingredient. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not going to be able to make any desserts. Your staples this week include all the usual. Milk, butter, sugar, eggs, etc. But because this is sweet week, you've got a few extra things to help you put up a gorgeous dessert. They are icing sugar, gelatin, agar agar, liquid glucose, maltodextrin, citric acid, and bicarb. Whoever gets the dish of the day gets an amazing, and I'm talking amazing advantage in the next challenge, the invention test. And believe us, you want this advantage. Are you ready? Yes. Pumped, full of ideas? I hope so. Your time starts now. Back of my ice cream machine. I've got so many ideas. Ah, it's so wild. What's all Are there mighty scales here? Good tip on tempering. Take that off now and just yeah. stir it and you'll be tempered. I love the earrings. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the donut. I'm just getting the, the mousse done and then a white chocolate mirror glaze. Mirror glaze? Very in, very in vogue, very fashionable. Very in vogue. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, what's the secret of a good marigrace, friend? Lots of water. I'm going to oh. take you away before you give everything else away. Come on, can't give too much help. Thank you. Ryan. Hi, George. How, How excited you? were you? Oh, hey? I still can't believe it. It's a bit crazy. That looks beautiful. What is so that? I'm, making, I'm going to smoke the anglaise later. It's a rum and coffee ice cream. Yeah, and yum. I'm, I'm just going to keep it really simple. Can you? <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah. Can you know. keep it I, simple? I will really try it. Like, just well, nail a few well, elements. What's your well. definition of simple? Give us the, what's the Four dish? Four or five elements maximum. <laughs> <laughs> it's not simple. I love it. I love it. Oh, my God, I'm so bad at getting Me all my too. equipment. Me too. My dish today, I guess if I had to describe it, I'd just say flavours of matcha and raspberry with roasted white chocolate. But the matcha cremeau is the absolute hero of this dish. It's sweet week. Think scrumptious, think delicious, think amazing. You have 45 minutes to go. 45 minutes gone. I've lost a lot of time and all I've got to show for it is the greeny, brown, disgusting cremeau. It was supposed to be the absolute hero of this dish. 
with a smashing start. Now it is looking for a smashing dish to finish it. 40 minutes to go. Come on, guys. Question on sex. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm the guy, you know, I'm going to leave the two of you together. I'll be back in a bit. What are you creating? Um, so I've got a smoky ramen coffee ice cream in the churner. Okay. And just revolving around the idea of a fallen ice cream cone. Okay, good so luck, excited. Brian. Thank you very much. <laughs> Come on, let the good things take you away. <laughs> Everyone's got a smile on their face. Yeah. It's sweet week. They've got to embrace it. We'll see how they are in half an hour. <laughs> Can you get one of those things open? Oh, God. I want to make sure I nail everything today. Form my little coconut and give it everything I've got. Oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to make a little mini coconuts. All right, so you're having a go. So have you used the white chocolate in there? Uh, yeah, I've used the white chocolate. I'm um, going to melt down the M logo later just to brush it with the dark over it to try and make it look like a coconut. Love it. So you're going to load that in there or are you going to yeah. put something else in there? No, I'm going to load that in there with the raspberry gel. Little cool. coconut. Yeah, great. Love it. Cool. I'm really hoping I get myself tasted and maybe even get myself an advantage in the invention test. But I'm just worried about the dome moulds because I don't have any backups. I've got to be on point today or there's no chance. Oh, I can smell the rum. Listen up, you little cream puffs. <laughs> Seven minutes. Seven lucky, sweet, delicious minutes. Let's go. Come on. Have you turned one out? Yeah, yeah, bit of wood. Yeah, it's back in the freezer. Come on. In the blast chiller or the freezer? Ah, in the blast chiller, yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Hey! Bloody hell, mate. Huh? Happy days. Happy days. Cox, is in there! Three minutes! Come on, guys, three minutes, let's go! So I've actually finished all my main elements. I've got my ice cream in the freezer, my jelly has set. I've got my chocolate powder. I've got my fresh raspberry portioned out. I take the tweezers out of the oven, they are perfect. They're burning hot, but I really need to start shaping them as soon as possible. So using some cone molds, I shape them into little ice cream cones. My fingers are burning, they are really hurt. <sighs> because twirls harden with the first minute of taking out, I have to sacrifice my fingers. Kirsten tasted my dish, that would be really amazing. She's an amazing dessert pastry chef. Pumped, I'm scared, oh god. 30 seconds! Cook. What we were so thrilled to see, there were so many techniques on show. I think every pastry technique we could name, you guys were doing it. We're looking for the top five dishes. First up to taste is... Brian. What have you cooked? So I've cooked a fallen smoky coffee and rum ice cream with a coffee twill. Coffee jelly, raspberry marshmallows, and a salted roasted white chocolate powder. Great balance of textures. The cone is really nice and crunchy, so when you snap into that and you get the ice cream, when you put it all together, absolutely beautiful. I think that's properly good, like absolutely delicious. I love every element that's on the plate. 
I was really worried about that coffee ice cream. I thought, you know, if you're using instant coffee, the risk is that it's much too bitter and too strong. Bang on. Like, delicious. Really well done. You've done a wonderful job. I mean, really, really wonderful job. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the next dish we'd like to taste is... Eloise. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying desperately hard not to drop it. Gee. So, Eloise, what's your dish? Um, it's a sort of trifle. So, <laughs> I've got some coconut sponge soaked in uh, rum syrup, raspberry marshmallow, coffee jelly, and a creme patissia. I think that would qualify as a trifle. <laughs> I was Not gonna a say, sort of trifle, I'd go like with a, a confident yeah. trifle. It looks fabulous. I tell you what, if, if that came out into a restaurant, everybody's looking and thinking, ooh. That looks so amazing, you just want to die. Yeah, it's great, <laughs> isn't it? Really good. That is an absolutely winning dish. The sponge, the texture of the sponge, just the bang on sweetness of that beautiful coffee syrup, coffee flavour, the raspberry marshmallow. That is delicious. That is a diet busting hell of a dish. I think you've absolutely smashed it. I could have eaten the whole thing myself. <laughs> You're giving us some hits, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, honestly, week four, and you're just bashing out great dish after great dish. That's a Another cracking, great, delicious, yummy dish. So, Eloise, <gasps> well done. Thank you. Well, first up, congratulations! You survived the first week in MasterChef. Well done. <laughs> so, Andrea, where are you? You're not feeling too well? No, not feeling great. Well, you know what that means. You're going to have to sit out and be in tomorrow's pressure test. That's in accordance with the MasterChef rules. Thank you. Well, you don't need to be a genius to work out. Today is a mystery box challenge. But the question is, will you be a genius <laughs> when you see those ingredients? Will you play it safe or will you go out on a limb and blow us away. I'd just love some spices to be under that mystery box. We haven't had anything yet. Some rosemary, some garlic, some thyme, some red wine, and a, a nice piece of beef. You ready to find out what you got? Yes. Yeah. I try to keep an open mind with the mystery box challenge. Having said that, if there's something sweet under there, I'll be really happy because I'm hoping to cook a dessert. You can lift the lids now. Well, there you have it, some classic ingredients, but also some that you potentially haven't used before. Chicken breast, coriander, hopping corn, blue swimmer crab, asparagus, blood orange, coconut. Anyone know what the dried flour is? Chamomile. Excellent. <laughs> Anyone cook with chamomile before? Yeah? It's very good for your tummy. <laughs> Georgia? Yes. What have you cooked with chamomile? Um, I could be giving some ideas away, but... Well, then um, don't. don't. OK. <laughs> no excuses today, really. There's lots of opportunity to really blow the three of us away with something delicious, something yummy, and obviously something really interesting. In this moment, nothing is coming to mind. All I'm thinking about is crab, coriander, crab, coriander, crab, coriander. I just cannot get crab and coriander out of my head. I'm like, come on, sorry, think, think, think. Nah, completely blank. This is the fridge on a Tuesday night. You open the fridge, you shake it, you see what falls out, and you go, I'll use that, I'll use that, I'll use that. There's dinner. Some of you will become masters of this style of cooking, mystery box invention test. Some of you will stumble because you don't have the ability to quickly decide what you want to make and what flavours are going to go together. The rules are simple. You have 75 minutes to make us a dish that is absolutely delicious, featuring at least one of those ingredients. You also, under your bench, 
have a pantry of staples. We're only gonna taste the five most appealing dishes. So, playing it safe will not get you tasted. Simple. The contestant that cooks the best dish gets a great power. In the next round, the invention test. Right? Got it? Yeah! Yeah! Good, let's cook. Time starts now. There is, there's no excuse today. Oh, yeah. That mystery box has got so much potential. You can do so much stuff. Straight off the cuff, I'm thinking coconut. But also, crab. You know, you can make a crab custard, or you can make a crab tart. You can make a bread. How good would a crab tart be? Doing? You know what, but also that chamomile, I don't want to dismiss that either, because yeah. I love that, and you can make a, a lovely tea with it. I'm glad you like chamomile. I can't stand the stuff. It reminds me of my granny's wardrobe. Oh, but, but it, it, I think if you get it right, you get a it tastes of hay. Okay. Right? I think that there's that lovely... Or smoke with it. Smoke with chamomile. Smoke the chicken with chamomile, use the sweet oh, corn. Oh, yeah. You know, so much. We yeah. would be here forever yeah. with this yeah. mystery box. So today there is no excuse but giving us great food. Come on, crap. You know, you get back in the gym, Reynolds. Oh, okay. It's not good. I think I'm going to injure myself. Maybe coconut was a bad idea. I am starting to feel a bit annoyed as I'm trying to open the coconut. Hold it and use the heavy part of the knife. Yeah, we'll get a hammer. <laughs> there it goes. I can hear it. I can hear it. It's exciting when you do it. Is that the first time you've ever smashed a coconut? Oh, no, or? I've done it, but I usually just, like, chuck it on the ground. Right, 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 right. So, dish, what is it? I don't know what the uh, dish is. A rolled chicken breast with coriander. Oh, cool. Little Valentine, yeah. little roll. Yeah. I'm making the broth and hopefully some noodles as well. Yeah, OK, so, so hopefully some noodles. Yeah. And flavour in the broth. Right. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. And possibly noodles. Yes. <laughs> Just head down, do the noodles. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be disappointed if you don't give me the noodles. Oh, Are you? I'm oh, totally right disappointed. Now. Totally. I feel like noodles. Yeah. You've got some fabulous ingredients. It smells fabulous in here. The question is, are you going to give us fabulous dishes? 45 minutes to go. Come on, Whoa, go. Come on, go. that go? Come on, guys. Nice bit of encouragement there, Stephen. Yeah, you know. Love it. Yeah. God knows I need it. Sorry, you smashed it the last time you did a mystery box. Are you going to continue? I don't think I'm going to do a performance like I did last time. No. When I opened up the box, I went completely blank. Right, but, 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 you, but you, were you one of the three best dishes in the last mystery yes. box? Yes. So, yeah, so what, what are you, you going to make? I'm going to make a Thai kind of inspired um, coconut curry with crabs. So, Matt, you've got no lemongrass. No lemongrass. No chilli. Nope. No palm sugar. Nope. No fish sauce. None of that. You've got coriander. I've got coriander. Do you cook a lot of Thai food? Um, a little bit, not lots. You haven't got the ingredients, it's not something you cook a lot of. Isn't that a dangerous thing to do? No, it's, yeah, it's actually very dangerous to cook Thai. In my head, I'm like, he's right. How am I going to do this? Oh, why does he do that for? <laughs> I'm going to keep going, and while I'm preparing this dish, I'm going to think about something else I could possibly do. It's really important for me to be in the top five today because I need those judges to taste my food. I want them to see that I can cook, I can make something look and taste beautiful, and that's my goal today. I'm going to do um, chamomile and blood orange tribute. I've got a chamomile creme pat in the fridge. I'm making an orange crumb. I'm going to try and make a blood orange curd. I've got some little meringues with chamomile on top of them. The thing I'm worried about this yes. is you've got lots of components yes. and I can't see a dish. OK. Can you? I can. Hopefully. <laughs> I really need to redeem myself and show those judges that I can cook. So I'm going to not take their advice and I'm going to stick to what I know, make something delicious and smash it. 35 minutes to go and then I go, yep, I figured out a dessert. All right, would you believe I'm making two dishes at the moment? What? Nah, ridiculous idea. Is it? I don't know. I'm going to decide at the end. Can I, can I tell you something? Okay. 
I can't even think of one person that's ever done two dishes to hedge their bets that has ever got anywhere with that kind of thinking. I'm feeling the pressure instantly. My mind is going like a million miles an hour. Be brave, be bold, believe in yourself. You've got half an hour to go. Half an hour left. Go, guys, come on. Reynold, what's the dish? Um, I've got a blood orange granita um, as a bed. I'll be serving that on a coconut husk. Um, I've got a chamomile ice cream in the freezer. Um, I've got some candy popcorn. What are we going to love about it when we stick our spoon in it? What's going to be like that? Uh, refreshing. Refreshing? Yeah. Your dish sounds awesome, right? Yeah. It sounds delicious. But Reynold, you've got to sell it to us as well. Yeah. If we pick you, you come to that table and you love that dish. Because yeah. if you love it, before we've even tasted it, we love it. Yeah. All right? Yeah. I'm determined to wear other judges, so today I'm planning to impress them with my painting skills. Five minutes to go. It's all about how you plate this dish up. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. I am putting up the dish that I anticipated, so fingers crossed. I've fixed up the syrup. It's beautiful. I'm so happy with this dish. Everyone's rushing to play it up, but I'm going to save that for the judges. I'm really hoping to impress them today with some theatre. You have two minutes to get us to sit up and take notice. Come on. Come on, guys. In the panic, I've just decided, nah. Don't do the creme brulee, just focus on the crab broth. I've just, I've got enough to get one plate, and you know, that's all I need, fingers crossed. 10 seconds to go. Nine, eight, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Well done. Cheers, mate. Sarah. I'm walking up to the judges and I'm starting to think they are understanding where I'm going with this. Like, maybe this dish isn't actually as bad as I thought it was. Two things I want to ask you. Firstly, what's the dish? The dish is an Asian-inspired crab broth with fresh and toasted coconut. Secondly, tell us about your 75 minutes. No. Oh. <laughs> begin. Uh. Didn't you want to do a creme brulee at one yeah, point? Yeah, I made a creme brulee too. Oh, you made one yeah, as well? Yeah, I made two of them. Oh, great. Yeah. Just imagine if you just focused on this dish and nothing else. <laughs> But, I mean, that is brilliant. But can you imagine what it could be? But it's brilliant. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, this is it. The last spot in the top five of this mystery box challenge. And that last spot belongs to... Reynolds. The judges really want to see some passion in me. And the way I'm going to sell that to them is through my plating. Love it. Love a little plate up at the pass. Yeah, I like this. Right, the, off you go, To the theatre. Uh, I've got a blood orange granita with a salted caramelised popcorn, blood orange zest that I've candied, toasted coconut shavings with a chamomile ice cream. Little quenelle. Oh! Oh! oh. oh yeah, baby! That it's the best Quinnell I've ever yeah. seen on MasterChef. What? You don't have, happen to have your phone, do you? I do. Of Could course. you take I a shot got and send phone. it to Matt and I? Closer, just give it a bit. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, nice. Mate, just a bit of Reynolds yeah, in the background. Yeah, a bit of Reynolds in the background. That looks amazing. Reynolds, look, you look very handsome. Can you flex the guns a bit more? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go, boys. It looks absolutely beautiful. Wow. <laughs>
I love about this dessert is that chamomile ice cream is absolutely bang on. It, it has that fragrance of hay shed. It's, you know, like drying grass in the summer. Popcorn, perfect combination with that orange zest with it. Um, for me, the popcorn needs more salt because something has to balance the sweetness of the praline, the ice cream, and especially the granita. I mean, it's amazing dessert, but you know it needs lime. You know it needs more salt. I think I've done a really good job with this dish, but there's a few areas for me to work on. However, I'm determined to get better and better. Next round, I really want to blow them away. Today, you're going to be feeding 150 people. <laughs> Each team has to cook three mains, plus three sides and one dessert. Blue team, your mains must champion seafood. And red team, your mains must champion the land. All the food, and this is important, is going to be served buffet style. So you'll need to be thinking about platters of food. You have three hours to cook and plate up all of your food. At the end of your three hours, all your platters must be on the serving table. The three of us are going to be tasting all your dishes. The team that does the best job will be safe. The team that does the worst job will go into tomorrow's elimination. From there, one of you is going home. Ready? Yeah. Yes. Your time starts now. Good luck, guys. Red team. Blue team, red team, listen up. The trucks are going to be here in two and a half hours. Two and a half hours to go. Come on, guys. Let's go, let's go. Our food's going to be bloody beautiful. Nice to see the red teams using these beautiful local carrots, huh? Push, guys, push. All right, come on, blue team. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, blue. Yeah. Larissa, talk to me. OK, so here are we in seafood. Yep. We're going to do a smoked salmon. Yep. Simon's on to filleting that. Yep. Then we've got a prawn curry, which Sandeep will be doing. Um, Great got, idea. And then we've got, um, so we're going to do the fish and chips, so um, bee battered flathead. Tess is filleting that fish now. And yep. so instead of doing chips, yep. we're doing potato gratin. Yeah. So Yossa's onto that now. Um, side, so with the prawn curry, we're doing a yogurt flatbread. Yep. We're doing a Thai salad for the smoked salmon. Great. Yeah. Okay, happy great. with that? The, uh, hey, as long as you're <laughs> happy with it. Yeah. Um, and dessert? Oh, yes. Dessert is a sticky date pudding. We thought for the farmers, they would love classic dessert. Beautiful. What makes a great sticky date pudding? Uh, it has to be sticky, moist, soft, a beautiful sauce, yeah. nice and glossy. You got a good recipe? I, I make it every Christmas for the family and it always disappears. So awesome. I'm hoping it <laughs> pulls through on a bigger scale great. today. Excellent. Yeah. That's exciting. Two and a half hours to go. Yeah. You need to motor. Right. Right. It needs to all come up and yeah. all go out within the three hours. Yeah. You yeah. got it? Three seafood dishes. Yeah. Your three sides. Yeah. And your one, one dessert. dessert. Yeah. Good luck. Yes, George. Don't get complacent, guys. Keep working hard. Today, I have been assigned to cook the salmon, fill the salmon, break it all down, and make some crispy skin. We have 150 people we need to feed. I don't think anyone in this group has ever cooked for that many people. So time management is, is our biggest fear. Come on, guys. You need to be working harder and faster, please. I've got my six salmon, um, I'm filling them up. I'm usually very comfortable with breaking down fish. I, I've filtered a fair amount, uh, so there's a huge weight on my shoulders to get this right. Usually I do work with fish. Uh, it's kind of something that I like to think that I do well. However, when you have someone like George around, it does make the nose a bit real. Filling my first salmon, and I've basically just hacked at it. It's, it's not a great start. This is the real stuff now, huh? And I look up, and George, of course. Proper, uh... Proper catering. I turn the first fish skin side up to hide the fact that I've done a really bad job. How's the salmon going? Yeah, good. How's good. the filleting going? First one is great. Can you turn them upside down so, so I can have a look at them properly? Turn them upside down? Yeah, no, no, the filler oh, yeah. upside down so I can see. Sheepishly, I turn it to skin side down. Oh, wow. Yeah, it'll be Wow. Yeah. It's like a scene from a horror film. Yeah, it's going to be better. First one nerves, mate. First one nerves. What oh. you're doing is rushing. As soon as you portion that up, yep. disaster. Have you scaled the fish? Yeah. Give it a scrape. Let's have a look. No, the other way. Yeah, the scale's still on it. You need to thoroughly scale it beautifully. This is worse than I thought. Scaling all these fish again is going to put me way back. If I completely botch this salmon and don't get anything out, then we will lose. That's how much pressure is on at the moment. How many prawns are you going to do, Derek? We're going to do 
Ooh, we're aiming for 150 today. So 150 points, one point for each person. Is that what you think of? Oh, yeah. yeah. Have a target, batch them up. Here's 50 down, here's yeah. another 50 down. Okay. We're 150 down, we've got 300. That's a good idea. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah. you want yeah, generosity is what's going to win you this challenge. Yeah. How many points did you take, Carl, if you're going to come to something like this? <laughs> Five. <laughs> <laughs> think that way. It's a great challenge today to be a part of. Um, we're getting to give back to people who have given so much. So, yeah, really stoked to be, you know, being able to feed these people. Sandy, you're very quiet at the back of the kitchen here. Yeah. You're working with Carl and Derek. Carl and Derek are my initial line, and, and I'm doing. And are you pumping them along? Are you taking charge of this dish? This yeah. is a Sandy. Um, Boys, how long is it going to take? 49. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 50! <Yay. laughs> Good on you! I'm, I'm going well. I'm, I'm confident about this dish. We have a uh, stock going on. The prawn oil is ready. That's my secret garam masala. Red team, blue team, listen up. You're halfway. That means in an hour and a half, food must be up. Yes? Yes. Yes. yes! Let's go. Halfway, halfway. One hour and a half to go, guys. Come on, let's go. This is such a delicious yeah. menu. It, it's sort of from the heart and, and that's what we want to give to the people who have been supporting these farmers in, in the tough times. I need to go to the gym tonight. One more flathead left. I think I've done about maybe 30 and the fish is so beautiful, so I can't wait to serve it. You're doing well, Simon. This is a hard job, you're doing really well. We're looking pretty well. It's, it was a bit uh, hectic for a while there, just trying to get everything in the pressure cookers and getting the pork belly in the ovens. But they're doing their thing now and the pressure cookers are on. Three mains, three sides, and one dessert. There's still so much to worry about. The girls are on the carrots over there, feverishly prepping the beautiful coloured carrots. We've got Blake searing the steak over there, and then he'll finish it in the oven. We've got Abby working hard on the green salad. So it's all systems go, a lot happening. By the way, I'm liking the menu, all right? But if you put, oh, listen, listen, remember, hour and a half, not even, it's got to be on the serving table, done. Yeah, yeah? yeah. You've got to push, 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 yeah. right? All right, let's go, guys. Red team, blue team, can I say it's looking fabulous. First team challenge, looking amazing. Five minutes to go. Come on. Come on. Come on, red team. Come on, red team. All the way to the end. Make it look beautiful on the plate. Just make sure they look the same. All the dishes are coming together. Yeah, that's beautiful. Watching the land dish, it just looks so beautiful with the little pomegranate seeds on top. Make sure all elements are going on the sides. The beetroot salad looks great. All the different colours of beetroots just really pop off the platter. The carrot dish is looking amazing. Yeah, beautiful. The crumble looks beautiful and I think it'll taste brilliant. Doing it for the farmers, guys. Let's go. We had a vision in our head of what we wanted the plates to look like. Push, push, push. We've worked so hard. These are beautiful. Seeing it all come together, it's magic. 30 seconds! Come on, Red Team, last push. Let's go, we can do this. Come on, guys, we're nearly there. We're there. Come on, guys, we're so close, we can do this. Go, Red Team. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. This is it, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Absolutely amazing. I'm so proud of my team. They pushed on through and we've got all the food on the on the table. So yeah, I'm, I'm totally stoked. I'm feeling a bit emotional. We're doing this for a good cause and serving people just to say thank you. Just means so much to me. I can't wait for the farmers and volunteers to taste this beautiful food. I'm just so proud of my team and what we've been able to achieve in those three hours. It, it's overwhelming, just this whole experience. And I'm, I was just blown away by my team. Like, we did it. <laughs> right, are we ready to eat? Uh, yes! yes. Wow. 
I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased because first team challenge is a hit or a miss, but this one I think has been a bit of a hit. They've done really well. The food looks amazing. And you can hear people are quiet enjoying their food. Yeah. Yeah. It's and, wonderful. And those tables both look spectacular. Oh. I think we should go with the blue team first, what do you reckon? Let's do it. Let's get the blue team in. That's spectacular. Shall we just reach in and start we'll racking and stacking? This is a lot of food, isn't it? So, Larissa, what have we got? Uh, we've got a beautiful seafood spread. We've got uh, sand dips prawn curry here. Yep. It's a beer batter flathead. We've got baked and smoked salmon here with some crispy skin on top, a potato gratin, yep. a Thai salad, some flatbread to dunk into your prawn curry. And then we've got some beautiful sticky date pudding with butterscotch and an orange creme fraiche. Wow. Are you pleased? I'm so happy. I'm so very stoked. I think it looks fantastic. Right, get out of here. We're going to taste. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Thank you. I'm so happy with what we've done, but... Shall we? I don't know if we've done enough today compared to the red team, because I know the red team have done such beautiful food today. You know what I like here? You can tell the batter's going to be a good thing because it's all bubbly, yeah. you know, and brown and aerated. She's got good crisp and not a bad effort at all. Bit, a bit of Thai salad just to refresh the palate, boys. Yeah, good. Nice, bright bit of chilli heat. Love that. Good sandness. Yeah. Salmon? I think, you know, you're looking at the first team challenge under pressure and to be able to cook it beautifully yep. is, is a great start. The skin is absolutely fantastic. Mm. We should try the gratin. I love creamy <laughs> potatoes. Yeah, they are delicious. Hey, that's a crowd-pleasing prawn curry. Mm. That is uh, delicious. I'm going back in. I'm enjoying this bread, actually. And that curry is just... When you say crowd-pleasing, you're right, because it's not too hot, but it's complex and, yeah. and tasty. And what I love is the prawns are perfectly cooked. That is a winner, and the bread is a ripper. So this is Christina's uh, sticky date pudding recipe, and she makes it for Christmas for her family. Oh, George, what are you doing? Don't be shy. More? Yeah, yeah, of course. There you go. Sticky stuff is just perfect for sauce. And the cream. Go on, put a dollop of cream on our behalf. Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. That is very, very, very good. That's so good. <laughs> Don't look at it, guys. It's because it's calling your name. You know why she makes it every Christmas? Yeah, because it's a hit. Because it's, <laughs> it's just a ripper. That is just moist, dark, yeah, light, light. That that the cream with that little bit of orange in it is wonderful. Yeah. I think everything tastes fantastic, and they've done a really good job in terms of everything's cooked really, really well. My only question would be, it doesn't yeah. all go together. It, it, yeah. it feels a little bit like seven dishes. They're all fantastic, but they've been made by individuals rather than by a team. <laughs>